Hey everyone, so somehow I fell behind <laughs> with all this stuff. There is uh, just a lot going on in my family right now. Um, and there's a lot of business things going on as well, too. It all comes to a head, it seems like, in February. Um, back in October, actually back July last year, um, I sold a property and, and the realtor that I was working with at the time did not pay my commission and has been fighting me tooth and nail. You know, the, the business is the business. There's mean, nasty people in every business. And uh, anyway, so all of that comes to a head next uh, Thursday, the 16th. I finally get my uh, meeting with them um, and with the referees in the room to be able to tell them, look, here's what's going on and be able to see exactly what. And of course, with this next week, my broker of record is coming in. All of that stuff has to happen. It's just kind of sad that all of these people had to be um, displaced in their life um, about a commission check um, that should be paid. So it's just sad, but some people want to uh, you know, uh, uh, change around your life. You know, turn your life upside down a little bit. That's been very confusing for me. Um, I would never operate that way. Um, and it's just been kind of taking me off the game, which is exactly what that other broker of record wants, is they want me taken off my game. And I'm trying to stay on my game. Uh, but then uh, tomorrow, my brother uh, is going in. My older brother is going in for shoulder reconstruction surgery. Um, and just talk to him. He's all ready to go, get that done. He's a weightlifting, um, you know, kind of freaky kind of guy about his body. Um, so he'll recover very quickly. Um, and uh, he's got a great surgeon that's doing his surgery for tomorrow. Um, and then I just talked to my mom. She's going in tomorrow for a whole cardiovascular workup on a stress test and all that stuff at 83 um, because she's trying to figure out what's been going on with her as well, too. So all those things are going on, uh, business things and family things. I'm sure there's business things and family things going on with you as well, too. Um, and so it's a little bit um, and there's some other business things going on here, too, that just aren't any pleasant that happened yesterday. And I'm still mad about what happened yesterday. Um, I'll get over it. It's just going to take me time. It is what it is. So here's this week's update for the week ending uh, February 3rd, February 4th. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's fun because February 5th was the 42nd anniversary of my dad's passing. And everything I learned about business, I caught from him while he was alive. And so it's just kind of uh, all happening at the same time. All the celebration of his life and missing him and all that stuff and all these other things going on just is what it is. So let's dive into this week's uh, market update for the Windsor real estate market. Um, for the week, we sold 42 houses. Oh, there was 583 houses on the market. Um, that's staying pretty steady. Last week's number was 550. So we've added a little bit more inventory, which is down here. Let's just go ahead and write it down, 583. A little bit more, a little bit more inventory. More, it's it's expensive houses, obviously. That's building up in inventory. And you're gonna see that here in this week's report. So for the week, we only sold 42 houses. That was down nine from last week. So a little bit slower last week. Um, it was a great time to be able to buy houses under $400,000. You're gonna see that in this data set. And uh, I was able to get one done. For my client coming in out of Toronto. Super exciting times uh, because they are going to be able to move down here and take care of mom and dad, be a little bit closer. They're actually going to be within two kilometers of mom and dad. So maybe three kilometers at most, um, which is going to be great. It's awesome for them. A huge victory. It's always fun to get one done um, and to have people super excited. We do the uh, inspection tomorrow. Martin and I are going to go out and do the inspection. Uh, financing is all done. They came back as A clients rather than uh, C clients. Um, and we got beyond all that stuff. So <laughs> it's just funny how uh, when we get into the middle of this and I start asking questions, it's like, oh, I hadn't really thought about that, right? Um, let me go and find somebody to answer that. Um, so it's all good. Uh, that one's done. So that won't be on this week's list. It's on next week's list because uh, we have to lift that condition yet once we get beyond inspection. So for the week, we listed $16,500,000 for the houses for the week. Um, last week, we listed uh, $23 uh, million for the houses. So let's get this all set up here so that we're ready to rock and roll. We uh, So we're down uh, $8 million. 
from last week, so it was a little bit slower week. It was February. There was snow. We did get a snowstorm, and that slows things down, which is why it's time to be out looking when it's snowing, because we have a better chance of winning the house. So then looking at the rest of this data, it's one, two, three, four, by the way. Uh, looking at the rest of the data, then we list, we sold $16,900,000 worth of houses. Again, same number, down about $8 million, $24 million last week. $24 million last week, $17 million this week, about $7 million less. Um, so is what it is, a little bit slower week. It's the first week in February, end of January with a snowfall. So you can see how that snowfall impacts the Windsor market. It just does. That's why I was out driving around in the snow, trying to find houses for people. Because I have a better chance of winning a house when there's a snowstorm. Less people from Toronto coming into our market. Or less people from all over the place coming into our market, driving down and buying houses. So average list price for the week was 394 394 average list price that has come down tremendously average list price last week was 463 so the government of canada has created inexpensive houses think about it that way it's what they wanted to do they've created it uh average list last week was 463 average list this week 394 so a massive decrease in valuations just means we're not listing any of those more expensive houses. Those folks are staying put. Those folks might be trying to figure out ways to keep their house as well, too. As I've done a video about that. Average sale price was 402. Average sale price last week was 472. That's down $70,000. Think about that. 70 grand. Whew. Average selling price. Just means that we're not listing and selling any expensive houses. That's all it means. Doesn't change the world in any way. Average over was 8291. Average over last week was uh, 9206, about 10K. So right in line, pretty much right in line with where we were at last week. There were uh, last week. Under were 18. This week, under was 19 for 45%. So 45% of our markets sold under asking price. 55% of our markets sold over asking price. And the average over, depending upon the house, was 82.91. And depending upon the listing realtor on how stupid they were with the concept of, or how silly they might have been being with listing a house way under bid to bring all kinds of people through it. There were a few of those last week. Uh, so all of that looks good. Uh, we're 57% of our houses sold were under 400,000. So if we go up and we look at our list here, we see our $400,000 threshold here, 400,000. And 57% of our houses sold underneath that. There were lots of really good houses in here, 340, 342. There's one specifically, this one here on St. Anne. No, it wasn't St. Antoine. Or was it St. Antoine 725? No, it wasn't. It was Hickory. A 1217 Hickory had been completely rebuilt. It was stunningly beautiful. I did video on it. I couldn't get anybody to respond to that house. The person that I thought would be the buyer of that house said, ah, you know, we, we just don't really like these flips. Um, and so we bought them a different house. That's the one I just got done. Um, but it only sold, it was listed at 314.9 and it only sold for 300,000. That was probably the screaming deal of the week. It was a beautiful house done well, still needed to have some stuff done to it because they didn't do any of the outside stuff because it was so cold. You could see that in my videos. Makes sense though. You know, flippers on a construction crew don't want to work outside. And if you're the tiling guy, you're not going to go out and do anything in the backyard. It's just not going to be your job. Your job is coming to do tile. That's what you do. You do your job. Go home. Um, nobody really volunteers to do anything more. And that's why the house probably sold for $300,000. Um, I was surprised, but the, the guy wanted to turn it. From day one, the listing realtor, Brian, bring me any offer. We'll get it done right now because we just want to get rid of this one. So there was something else that that guy was working on, that flipper was working on, and needed to just get this one off the board. And it happens from time to time. So that's what was going on with that. That was definitely the screaming deal of the week. Massive, beautiful house, screaming deal of the week. Um, 
Other houses, you know, Cadillac 273. Um, and there were some mobile homes that sold as well too, which brings down our average anyway. That's part of why we actually sold four mobile homes last week, about $160,000, $170,000 a piece. Um, and they were a little bit nicer of the mobile homes as well too. Uh, so that's what also brings down our averages we didn't sell as you can see here the most expensive house we sold was 905 or no 800 805 so it was listed at 850 850 and it sold for 805 you'll see 799 sold for 729 649 sold for 610 so you can see these people in this bottom or this top end of the market are getting little special deals getting money off so it's all good, um, you, just a slow week because of the snowstorm. And of course, the press will be all over it saying, the Windsor market sucked, the data set sucked, but they will never tell you that we got five inches of snow. They never tell you that when they write the Windsor real estate market sucks story. We've just seen the data set. It just came through the data set. It is what it is, five inches of snow. Let's go ahead and write that down. Five inches of snow. That way we have that to be able to look back and remind ourselves, yeah, there was a five-inch snowstorm. This whole city shuts down with five inches of snow. The 401 was greased up with crashes on five inches of snow. Was there anybody driving down to look at houses this week in Windsor? No. Yeah, we did sell a couple of houses out of board. We did. There were a couple. So that's your week update for this week. Everything looks good. Houses are very affordable. If you are looking for affordable houses in the city of Windsor, now is your chance. Again, last week wasn't. This week was. Got one done. You just have to be out there plugging along. I got to go to work. Got an appointment here in about... Uh, an hour to go look at a house over by the university uh, for a 75-year-old client and uh, who wants to move to London. So I'm going to go over and spend some time with him today. And then I've got to show a uh, fourplex um, at about 315 uh, for one of my investor clients who wants to move up to some multifamily residential. Um, so anyway, that's that for today. I've got an offer I've got a right to write to for a house over on Oak. Um, those are the three things they got going on and then all the other stuff going on and thinking about my family with all of their tests going on for tomorrow as well too. So enjoy your day. Go out there and do it. Um, sun shiny, bright, bright white little clouds going by here in the city of Windsor. A little bit of wind today uh, compared to any other day, but it uh, just looks like a blustery February day out there. Uh, but it's actually pretty warm. It's like 50 some degrees here today. Uh, most of the snow is melted other than the snow that's piled up uh, from being shoveled. Um, all the rest of the snow is pretty much gone. Uh, so go enjoy your day. And if you're thinking about moving to Windsor, give me a jingle, 519-995-6145, 519-995-6145. Be more than happy to help you find that perfect house for yourself here in the Windsor market. Have a great day. Bye-bye.